Welcome to beginner or green circle soulmate sessions. So this is really the ideal place for you to start your soulmate training journey because we'll be laying the foundations in a very accessible but still very challenging way. And this will allow you to more efficiently progress through the levels of difficulty and to have more fun while you're at it. So to start with, let's just take a moment to explore the stances on the soulmate that you'll be going through and exploring throughout the soulmate session. So the first one is just a basic stance. This is about hip width apart with the soulmate, like so. It's very easy on your balance and your mobility, and this is a really great way to start pretty much all of your sessions while you get used to the, used to the coordination aspect. From here, you can go into a wide stance. Still very easy on your balance but will give you a bit of a unique challenge to your mobility in some of the various sessions and obviously this is wider than hip width uh, and the width you can change depending on what you feel up to but as long as it's wider than hip width we'd classify that as a wide stance. Conversely you've got narrow stance which is going to be narrower than hip width and ideally feet completely together like so and that obviously narrows your base of support, which makes it more challenging for your balance and also for your mobility in some of the sessions. Last up, we've got a split stance. So that is basically where you're just sliding one half of the soulmate back. So you're basically splitting them up and you can go halfway, you could even go one quarter, but halfway, three quarters or full split. And that will be less challenging to more challenging. And you can also do a wider split if you need to. And then what the split stance looks like when I'm actually on the soulmate is front foot fully planted, back foot up as high as I can into extension. So you're really loading most of your weight onto the front foot and you're getting a little bit of a mobility challenge or stimulus on the back foot in through the toes. So that's all of the stances. I'll be encouraging you to explore different ones in the soulmate sessions as you go. Uh, but just so you know, that is how you regulate the difficulty as you explore those sessions. So if at any point you're feeling like something's too difficult, you can make it easier by regressing the stance. So going from split to narrow or narrow to basic or even going even wider. So just use that at your discretion to help you train in that Goldilocks zone that we talked about in the previous video. So next up, we'll just go over to some of the tools that will be helpful while doing these soulmate sessions and that we'll use throughout the sessions. So first up, this was, will be the one that you use most, that's the hacky sack. Uh, if you don't have a hacky sack or if you've lost it or whatever, then you can substitute that for a balled up pair of socks for most of the sessions. We also have just got this piece of dowel, a broomstick will do fine. Um, or yeah, if you want your own specific, I just got this off from the hardware store, nice and cheap. Then some kind of racket or paddle and a ball. So my favorite combo is like a fresco ball paddle and a tennis ball. And that's what I demo with, but if you can just grab a ping pong paddle and a ping pong ball, that will do fine as well. Very cheap, again. Most of these things you'll probably have lying around at the house or you can grab for less than 10 bucks. So once you're set up with all of these tools and you know how to adjust your stance on the soulmate to adjust the difficulty, then you're ready to start training and playing. Remember that you can share all of your progress or struggles or questions on our community app. We love seeing what you're up to and we're always happy to help you along your journey.